So I like to take long trips in my 944 Turbo and after driving for five hours, my knee kills me. So I gotta get the cruise control working. It never worked since I had the car. I've had it for seven years. It doesn't even come on on the gauges. So I think the problems in the cruise control computer probably needs to be resoldered. That's something I have to do quite often with lots of different cars. So the computer, oh God. So the computer is right there. So I gotta pop that out, open it up, and then look inside. Let's pop it out, there's a bolt, a nut right there, and one right there. Gotta remove those, they're 10 millimeters. And you need to remove the plugs. And the computer's free. And you get some needle nose pliers and bend all these little tabs out all around it. And then you can slide this metal case off of the computer. Well, the circuit board looks good. It's really clean. And all the solder joints are good. The problem might be inside of here, so I gotta get this off of here. It's not too hard. The only way to get these screws out of here without drilling them out is to get a pair of vamp pliers. The end of this tool is designed to grab the head of a screw or stuck a bolt or whatever and grip it and, twi and it allows you to twist it out. For these screws I was only able to grab the heads of them with these edge, with the edges here, because there is just not enough room for the whole plier to fit over the screw. So I'm still able to grab. Actually, I was able to get it with the tip of the tool. Just gotta like put your body into it and hold this still with your hand. Ow! <laughs> well, if there were plastic gears in there, they're broken now. Well, what's it gonna look like in here? Huh. Doesn't look bad at all, actually. The gears look fine. So it's pretty cool how this actually works. This gear will be in here. But the cool thing is that this is an electromagnet and it pulls this contact in and that engages the gear that drives the uh, unit and uh, yeah that's pretty cool I saw some people asking about how this spring is oriented well that's how it's oriented in order to reinstall the spring install this side first onto the plastic gear and then just take your fingers and grab the little hooked side and bend it and hook it in there and that's how you do that to put this back together you need to put this gear right here and hold it here with your finger this needs to be in this position this tab uh, goes on top of this and when this moves it turns this this arm which controls the throttle cable so yeah this goes here hold it like that line that hole up and and this gear at the same time I'm not gonna be able to do this 
holding the camera. So, yeah, I hope you get the idea. So I pulled the control board out again, and I looked at it really closely, and I noticed that I could see a lot of little areas that look like micro cracks. I counted about 20 of, or 30 of them, and I marked them, and I soldered them, and I put that back in the car, and holy shit, the cruise control kind of worked. So, it would work for about 20 seconds, and then it would disengage, and then re-engage, and then repeat that cycle all on its own in like one second intervals, and it was weird. So I'm just gonna solder more of these connections, and we'll see if that fixes it. Well, that did work. Porsche had this foam piece stuck on here, and I tore that off, and I found a couple more uh, cracked solder points. So I resoldered those, and now the cruise control is working on this car. This is the weirdest cruise control I've ever used. The way it works is you just press the stock forward. I mean, it works like a typical cruise control, but you just press this stock forward and hold it until the cruise control comes on, and that's probably a half a second to a second. Then it'll like accelerate a little bit, and then it'll the pedal will snap off, and then it will readjust itself, and it'll keep you going at the speed that you want. Pretty weird. In general, it works the same as any cruise control, but a little odd to me. And no, I wasn't driving with the cover off of the circuit. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you next time.